Hello folks, how are we doing? I hope you're doing good. I'm doing my 199th presentation. It will be on peach selenite. I noticed there's not a lot on YouTube about peach selenite. So I thought I would give some much needed information on this crystal. So, this crystal is, of course, selenite, but with an added mineral of hematite. Iron oxide is in it. That's what gives it its peach color. And sometimes it's referred to as orange selenite, pink selenite, uh, depending on how dark it is, red selenite. This is a high vibration stone, and I find this to be more revved up in power and in energy than your white selenite. I find this to be more of a battery. It's a very... A uh, high functioning, I mean, high energy stone. So I got this nice big piece. I have like two other pieces. I just don't know where they are right now, unfortunately. So peach, peach selenite, the main chakra it's going to work with is the sacral. The secondary chakra it will work with is the heart chakra. This has a hardness of up to 2 in the Mohs hardness scale. So right around the 2. Talc is, is on number 1. Just to give you an, ex, uh, an imagery, an ex, example of how soft this stone is. It does not do well in water. So unless you want to damage your stone or you want to dissolve it, I would not cleanse this with water. If you do feel it does need a cleansing, and it usually doesn't, it's a self-cleansing stone, and it's used to cleanse and charge other stones, do not use water. Do not put this in sunlight. Selenites do better in moonlight. So you can charge your selenite and cleanse it with the intention and with the power of the moon. If you leave it outside, make sure you do not have a, a very humid or rainy day. You do not want to destroy your selenite. Other ways to cleanse this, of course, is using smoke or using the power of intention. This is... I, as selenite is going to your white selenite is going to work with your energies your mental this is going to work with your emotional this is going to help you with emotional issues and white selenite and peach selenite work great together well, and it's a, also used for cleansing and you can use the white selenite with the pink selenite for the cleansing of your mental energies and then the cleansing of your emotional energies and to recharge both and to empower both. This, like white selenite, will expel and remove negative energies and attachments and bring a deep sense of peace and clarity and energy to you. It will quickly release stagnant energy 
to create an energy field of health and healing. It will smooth out your flow of your energy in your body. It will purify your energy. Hey, Joker. Joker, no. Down, boy. Did you see Cho Joker in the beginning? He was right here. So, it's going to smooth out those energies. So, this crystal... Of course, which is uh, like a type of satin spar. Stop! Joker. All the time. Never, never fails. So, it's also going to work with, of course, the Desert Rose, which is another type of selenite. Also, uh, these can be confused with Himalayan pink salt. They are not the same. But this pink peach selenite works good with a chunk of Himalayan pink salt, sea salt. Now... Peach selenite is more rare than your regular selenite, so it's going to be a little bit more and a, a little bit more money than the regular selenite. Peach selenite is going to work well with rose quartz and morganite. Peach selenite will also work good with black tourmaline. If you want to empower your rituals to just give it a boost of power, also think of peach selenite because I've used that for different things and I've had this in my rituals to help me empower things. This is also going to not only cleanse you and empower you but also protect and defend you it's going to shield you so this can be used for protecting not only of yourself but also your emotions so if you feel that you are an emotional roller coaster and you're feeling down and out and depressed Give uh, peach selenite a try. You may like what you feel with this. Peach selenite goes good with rose oil. That's just like a nice combination to use the two. Peach selenite is good for self-love and motivation. So if you're feeling down on yourself and you feel like you don't appreciate yourself or maybe you wish you had this person or maybe you wish you were someone else, maybe you wish you were like more like, oh, I don't know, Carrie King or more like Tom Mariah or more like... Maybe you wish you were more like Elon Musk, or maybe you wish you were more like Jeffrey Bezos, just for example. And ooh and ah about everything else that 
other people have. This will help you to concentrate on you, on what you have, and what you can build upon. Instead of, you know, seeing that the grass is green, is always greener on the other side. Peach selenite. It's, still, it's found throughout the world, but most commonly it's found in Morocco. Now, it's also found in the United States, Michigan, especially Michigan, Oklahoma, and West Virginia. It's found in Austria, Australia, Peru. Mexico, Poland, uh, Russia, but most, a lot, a lot of the peach selenite you're going to get is, a lot of them are from Morocco. Now, for women, for us women, it's great for us women and for our energy fields. It's great for our trans, our transformation to assist us during puberty, during our first menstrual cycle, and every menstrual cycle, cycle, as well as PMS. So you have the PMS, then the menstrual cycle. So PMS means premenstrual syndrome. syndrome. Then you have uh, the menstrual syndrome. It also will help us uh, help you during pregnancy, during you know during the time of childbirth, uh, during the time of lactation. So again, hormones deal with that. Menopause So It helps us assist us going through our maiden mother and crone phase Also it will assist women during uh, postpartum depression but again when you have these symptoms please see especially if it's more than just mild postpartum and it's gone past the two or three week please seek a counselor or 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 a life coach or a psychiatrist or you know you may you just need herbal remedies. Maybe you need a prescription. Do what you need to do. And then seek out the assistance of peach selenite. So I do want to put that disclaimer there. So for men... Men, if you're going through andropause, which is the uh, masculine form of menopause, peach selenite can help you too. But also sometimes when you're going through menopause and andropause, you may need some hormonal therapy. But along with that, this will help you. It will help you during the times of loss and breakup, divorce, so it can help you with that. This is, like I said, self-cleansing, but it also cleanses around the area. If you can handle the energy when you're sleeping, you can put a little piece under your pillow to help you 
with dealing with if you if you have those occasional nightmares and also if you have something around you that you need something to protect you from maybe it's a psychic uh, spiritual vampire an incubus or a succubus this can help protect you and of course you have if you have those problems i would say you know do some cleansing especially if it's a real case and not just you know imagine sometimes haunt sometimes what we think is hauntings is actually our own imaginations then there are actually real cases there are, i'm not going to say they're very rare they're not but sometimes we think we are cursed or we think we are haunted and it's really us it's really in our heads When I was a child, sometimes I think there was, especially when I was left alone, and I was small, I would play a record because I thought music kept the way evil spirits, and that's what was in my head. If I play music, the boogeyman won't get me. So, I guess that's why to this day I love music. It's not because I think the boogeyman's after me. It's just, I love music, and the me music I listen to every day is metal music. And if you haven't realized, Slayer is pretty much one of my favorite brands, and I love Rotting Christ and Behemoth, Celtic Frost, Possessed, Bathory, Immortal, Obituary, Bloodywood, Trivium. Tetrarch. So, those bands. Slaughter to Prevail. Check them out if you're a metalhead. I'm sure if you're a metalhead, you know who Slayer is. Anyways. Anyways. um, I would not pour salt on my selenite. Selenite can be damaged very easily, even with the fingernail. So, I would not pour salt. I, when, I, when I say it works with... Himalayan pink salt, I would put like a chunk next to it. I would not, you know, leave the pink salt on top of it. I would leave it like just right next to it. I just also want to clear that up. It will help you during the phases of transforming a negativity for forgiveness and self-forgiveness and to help you let go. Especially when you're dealing with trauma. As far as the law of attraction, this makes it, this is a great crystal for manifesting things in your life. That's why it's also good to have it in your spells. Maybe you're doing a spell for money. Maybe you're doing a spell for protection. Maybe you're doing a spell to get someone to leave you the hell alone. Maybe you're doing a spell for romance or getting that new job or a promotion. So, Pink Selenite can help you manifest the things you want in your life. Pink Selenite is great spiritually to help you connect with your higher self. Or as Aleister Crowley also termed, Holy Guardian Angel, your... Uh, a higher spiritual self, and your spirit guides, your spirit animals, your spirit totem, uh, to help you connect with the spirits around you. It will raise your consciousness and raise your vibration. So when you feel like you're in a lower negative vibration, remember peach selenite that can help you raise your higher vibrations so that it will help you spiritually. So if you're on the path of the great work, selenite can help you with those rituals too. Can help you with the LBR. Can help, you know, magnify the powers of what you're doing. Maybe the Rose Cross ceremony, your middle pillar. And all those wonderful things. It can also 
uh, if you're doing goetic magic however you see the goetia spirits i used to use the triangle manifestation for spirits and i had one but i haven't utilized it in gosh so many 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 years but anyways it's great for cleansing out your chakras and i mean all of them <laughs> he's silly look at him he wants to do a he's raising his vibrations right now he's raising his but i don't want you to scratch this and getting this under your nails joker is raising his vibrations He's feeling the vibes right now. So this can help cleanse and protect not just you, but all who live in your home and also to help removing and protecting against spiritual disturbances. You can also use this for lucid dreaming. So put it under your pillow or wear one for it. Now, it's a fragile stone, so you want to use a soft cloth with it. Uh, avoid dropping it. And it's, as for jewelry, you know, you don't want to make it into rings or bracelets. I mean, it could be made into beads, but it's not fu it's not good for fauceting. Uh, I know carvings can be made of it, but it's a very fragile stone. So. It's going to enhance your consciousness. It's going to help you with mental clarity. I don't know if I said this because I don't use notes or anything like that. Is this is a lunar stone and it reminds me of the moon when it starts turning like oranges or pink it would really vibrate for those times it's it's selenite gets its name from the goddess selene or selena selene as people call her here so she she is the greek tightness of the moon is this is a great stone for transformation and spiritual activation it's signs astrological signs it's going to work with is cancer as well as taurus its element is wind cancer and taurus and the element is wind This is a self-appreciation stone and gratitude stone to be grateful for what you have. And if you're going through a state of depression, it's always good to have a gratitude list. Sometimes it can be hard to find things to be grateful for. But sometimes when you, we have a habit of taking things for granted like walking talking being able to read being able to communicate having a home even whether it's a mansion or a trailer having a roof over your head having food in your stomach whether it's a lobster dinner or caviar or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich it's being grateful for the small things 
and just having gratitude so that you can manifest more in your life. Some people have no access to water, fresh water. Some people have no access to fresh food. Even in America, people don't have that. They have to put their, their pots out for water. So there's some things to be grateful for. Maybe that cell phone you have. Maybe the home you live in. Maybe you have clean water. Maybe you're able to be grateful that you walk. I've been in positions where I couldn't walk. It sucks. Maybe being grateful that you're not in the hospital. Being grateful that maybe, you know... Maybe your health is not so great. But maybe, you, you know, being grateful that you're able to do things for yourself. And if you can't do things for yourself, maybe it's having gratitude that you have someone doing things for you. So it will help you with the gratitude. A little gratitude in the attitude is always good. Another thing that this does is sometimes we, we hold anger and sadness in our sacral chakra. Sometimes we hold things in our heart chakra that, that does not serve us. And maybe we were hurt so many times that when we find the right man, the right woman, we're like, why should I trust this person? Even though this person had given me no reason to trust him. But I just distrust him. Because maybe because he didn't text me. Or or he only gave me a one word text. And last time he texted me a lot. Last time he, you know, he was so communicative. But we have to, th we, 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 we immediately want to sabotage it. Because we've been hurt before. And then once you sabotage it, once you destroy the relationship, see, 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 nothing works out for me. And then you find another relationship and you've been hurt before. So you try to find faults in everything. She didn't get in contact with me fast enough. Oh, I haven't, I haven't heard, got a text in this guy in two days. Oh, I haven't heard from him, but... You don't know what's going on in this person's life. Or maybe you do, but you just want to sabotage. You can just want to say, see? See? You know? Just a, a self-fulfilling prophecy. So that you can be addicted to, to hurt, rejection, and pain. Because that's what you've been through. Hurt, rejection, and pain. And that's another thing. This... This, this crystal will help you with, with the process of always feeling rejected. Maybe it's coming from, from childhood, always being rejected. And something that you have to work on. I hate rejection at times. I, 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 some, when someone rejects me, I just want to know why. What the hell did I do? Uh, what went on? But sometimes I got to realize it's not me. It's just either circumstances or them. Sometimes it is me. But rejection. Especially when the person didn't even tell you why. They just decided, I don't want to talk to you anymore. And sometimes that can really hurt. So, this can help you with that. system of rejection. It can build up your self-esteem, self-esteem, your willpower. It will build up your self-awareness to be aware. Yes, to be aware. This is a good crystal to help the uh, play energies around an area or the ground to heal. Maybe something terrible happened. It could have been... Uh, a terrorist attack, a murder, a natural disaster, a tornado, a hurricane. So you can use this with intention, with, you know, 
to build a little grid, a little love grid around that area to help release that energy or to help release the spirit, the ghost that's trapped or to remove a negative, help remove a negative recording in the home. Especially if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, you can always learn. I just always, you know, take precaution. Take precaution when you're dealing with things like that. And also remember, when you provoke, when you do provocation of a spirit, you better, or an entity, you better be able to... Uh, be able to cash that check you wrote <laughs> you know you better not try to cash a check that your face you better not try to uh cash it um cash a check that your face can't cash you know what i mean you better better back that up so yeah And this can also reaffirm your faith and strengthen your faith. Faith is not always about making everything all right. It's knowing that you will be all right when circumstances suck. So it's not just faith in a god or a goddess or a spirit. It could be faith in yourself. Faith in your energies. Faith in you. Like I said, this is cleansing, purification, energetic cleansing. This directs uh, energy into uh, people, places, and things. This helps you with enlightenment. I think I, I went over that before. It removes blockages. In your your energy field, it moves blockages within your chakras and your energy nadis and all your energy fields. It removes blockages and spiritual blockages in your vehicle. Yes, vehicles can be haunted. Items can be can be a conduit. So it can remove those to help remove those attachments. I'm not gonna say it's always gonna do it. You know, sometimes you just have to get rid of rid of it or or trap it keep it trapped it it can remove blockages in your home in, in your backyard your garden like again you know selenite peach selenite may not be the best thing for your plants so just make sure i i don't know can it fuck up a plant tree i i if i was when Let's just say I don't have a great green thumb, so if you have any information, can selenite fuck up your garden if you, if you uh, well, you don't want to water it because uh, your selenite could will melt, so. Uh, as far as uh, an elixir, I would not use this as direct method because your selenite will melt and sometimes you'll have the shards of selenite, which does not melt, but dissolve in water. And those shards can cut, give you little nicks and cuts and get stuck in your throat. So I would use an indirect method if you want to use it as drinkable water. But you can, if you want, get a small piece of selenite, peach selenite. I would use a small piece, put it in a water bottle and let it dissolve and then use it to spray the area. Make sure you don't spray it in your eyes and your face because, again, little shards, little shards. So don't use that to spray directly on your animal or, or anything like that. Again, little shards. Unless uh, you strain it out. But even then, little shards. So don't drink it or put it in your eyes. I would not be held responsible for any decisions like that.
Well, it brings an energy of peace. It brings energy of love. It brings en energies of compassion. It brings energies of empathy. It brings energy of spirituality. It can change neg negative energy into positive energy. And also, not only transform, but also repel it as well. Now, there are healers that have used this for eczema, dry skin, itchy skin, acne, pressure sores, uh, shingles, psoriasis. There are healers that use that. So, just bringing that up too. This can also help open up the, the your crown chakra. The psoriasis. My throat is, throat is dry. Your thousand petal ch chakra. Selenite is also said to be a, a, a crystal that brings a light, the bringer of light, and also called a stone of mental clarity. It will help you with your life's purpose, with your true true will. So, it helps cut cords. It's this crystals will help you cut cords. If someone, maybe you put those cords up to someone, maybe it was accidental, maybe it was intentional that someone did it to you. You can cut these, this crystal can be used to cut those cords, especially if they're just feeding you energy through that or sucking your soul dry. This crystal can also give you the will, the wherewithal to break it off with someone that is a soul-sucking, vampiric, soul-stealing piece of POS. It could give you the willpower to say I'm worth more than what this relationship is giving me. It was that you're just a toxic POS and you need to leave. So this will help you give you that wherewithal to do that. This also will work good with selenite. I mean, I'm sorry. Ah. Angelite and celestite. I meant celestite and angelite. This will work very good. So putting a, a celestite here with one. And you can mix it with, say, white selenite, celestite, peach selenite, and angelite. And that will help you spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. So if you're dealing with trauma, of course, therapy. 
this can help you now it's also said that peach selenite can help improve balance it's a crystal of happiness and joy and brings optimism it helps you learn self-acceptance and and the process of acceptance so peach selenite can help you with with your past lives to heal some of the things that happened in your past life that you carried on into this life it can also heal old old emotional wounds whether in this life and other lives so it can also help you access it to your past lives to learn from them peach selenite also combines good with amethyst it brings calmness, clarity, and also helping during the times of uh, sobriety. It works good with kyanite. It will help you on your spiritual uh, awakening and journey. So you can combine those stones and it will increase your spiritual clarity, your spiritual faith and strength. And help rid you and your energy, your home of negativity. It goes good with clear quartz. As well as rose quartz. It also pairs well with halite. To build even better confidence and self-esteem. Halite, not halite. Halite, H-A-L-I-T-E. It's different from the other stone, H-O-W-L-I-T. So you want H-A-L-I-T-E. Now some people use salt on their crystals, the selenite, but personally I wouldn't. But if you had success in leaving it in salt, let me know. I just would I I would be very careful you know because the salt can also get stuck in here you know also using uh, another way to cleanse this is ringing a bell or using one of those uh, singing bowls to help charge the vibration so and to help clean if you want to cleanse it so see about that how long have i been talking 43 minutes on this stone on this crystal I don't have any carved pieces of selenite. I just have the raw peach selenite. So I have my other pieces are smaller. As you can see how big this really is. And who do we have over there? We have Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty. I actually have this on the bed right now. So, this will help you in transition. So, if you're transitioning to a new home, transitioning to a new job, 
transitioning from maybe a single life to a couple's life or a couple's life to a single life, it's going to help you with transitions. I'm just trying to think what else. Is good for this um, peach selenite can help with patching up with friends and family and loved ones so if you need to see couples therapy maybe bring both of you can bring peach selenite with you and uh, the benefit with it Again, with the counseling and the forgiveness process and to help you with all that, with the therapeutic sessions. So anyways, there is so much to learn about Peach Selenite and I want to thank you. If you love my video, please share it with your friends and family. And even if you just like this video, share it on Facebook or Twitter or your other social media handles. Like and subscribe so you never miss a video, especially if you subscribe. And it lets me know I'm doing a good job and it helps. It changes the algorithm. Each time you watch this, it changes the algorithm so it gets out to more people. Where can you buy peach selenite? Well, reputable dealers is, I think Crystal Age sells them. They're reputable. Uh, rocks. I'm trying to think of this. <coughs> There's another, I'm trying to think of their name. And I can't think of their name. I'm sorry. And I, I bought so much from them. Ooh, I found them on Facebook. But anyways, look for a reputable dealer. Can they be made uh, fake? I don't know. But I know that people may try to sell you uh, Himalayan pink salt for it. So. Anyways. Uh, my birthday is coming up. September 30th. I will be 50. Well, I'm not going to give you all my age. <laughs> but. Yeah. My birthday is coming up. September 30th. Which is just around the corner. We just passed Maybon. So, anyways, uh, be good to yourself. As far as getting a pet, adopt, don't shop. And as always, oh, right before I, I close off, I want to give a uh, shout out to Vincent DeSanti for coming up with uh, another Crystal Lake movie, Friday the 13th. Never Hike Alone Part 2. I think he's still crowdfunding. So on the Indiegogo.com. Look him up on YouTube. Never Hike Alone Part 2 is coming out. I am a horror fan. It's, for me, it's the occult. Metal and horror. Cliche, but add some cats. But anyways, thank you so much. And as always, blessed be.